Hey folks, how are you this evening? Hey, you'll never guess the work we did today. Oh, boy, stick around and uh, you'll see what we did around here today. First, let's check out the gardens back here. So most of our stuff is uh, popped up now, except for our potatoes. So all of our onions have popped up here. So that's nice. And uh, our lettuce and whatnot is popped up too. You can see the the rows of lettuce here all starting, look at that. We did get a heavy frost last night, but it didn't damage anything because we covered it up. Heather just watered these again. So there is one, two, three, four, five rows of potatoes and carrots over here. The carrots have popped up as well. So that is looking good, I think. And we're sitting just under 20 degrees or 20 degrees Celsius or uh, 70 Fahrenheit. Not too too bad, I guess. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Hey, this little birch tree is all out in leafy, it's leafy dress. Yeah, I guess that's what you call it. I don't know, the cat's still around here. Hey, kitty, I know. I know you're friendly. Let's go see Heather, she'll let you in. She's in there resting. Not that it really listens, but uh, anyways, we have uh, the garlic here is uh, looking really good, I think. The stuff out front's a lot larger than this, but anyway, Heather has her little uh, hoop houses all opened up there. Peppers are doing really good in there. Her tomatoes are doing good. Hascap plants, they're all doing good. Let me show you what we did today. Ah, I think we did quite a bit. My back tells me I did quite a bit. So I took the tiller. Let's go on over here first, okay? Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I do not have a gimbal for this one. If I ever get rich off YouTube, I will invest in a gimbal for this Canon camera. But it's not going to be right away, folks. I'll tell you that much. So you see me build these yesterday, if you watched that video. I built these and I was towing them with the ATV. But today, I hooked on to it with this tractor. I took the tiller off that tractor and I hooked the drag to here. So what I did first of all was I went in and out, in and out, in and out and I fixed the driveway. I don't know how well you can see that, but anyway, it's all fixed, all level on both sides now. Looks really good, I think. What else did I do? Hey, well, we moved that pile over. We cleared in some more of this today. Then I ran the tiller, before I took the tiller off the John Deere, I ran it through here, and we are catching little sticks and roots and stuff. We're pulling out lots of sticks. So I ran the tiller through here. I went through here about three or four passes each time and it buried the till like it would go as deep as that tiller could go. Heather threw some ashes on here because the acidity level was pretty high so she's put some ashes on there hopefully to bring that down. She planted cucumbers and pumpkins in here. Look at that driveway. Oh I like that. Now we have to get lots more gravel in here but that's gonna be a lot better this year um she planted these that's uh parsnips and uh i believe carrots at the far end this is her little patch of corn and i forget what else she put in here there's a few patches i tilled all this up as well today and then in here these are those black raspberry canes we ordered last year look at them four little canes and they're already dropping new shoots and starting to regrow so i'm going to cut those and maybe send them to the other end and we're going to try to stretch this out as far as we can the other thing we did now i got to get back and clean this here too eventually and the grass has to be cut again of course so what did i do out here oh heather's peas well our peas are up heather planted these peas she did this while I was doing other stuff today. So, Heather planted these peas. Uh, she didn't plant them today, sorry. 
I tilled these. She planted them a while back and they're already starting to pop up. I'm gonna help her weed these a little bit out of here. Um, she has not too much planted in this this year. We're gonna let it sit probably. In, you know, we're gonna cover it up soon with some tarps and let it uh, let the weeds die down in it. But she has some more, I don't know if that's pumpkins or whatnot in there. But this is our garlic here. We gotta come through and weed this, of course, because that is what our garlic's looking like. That's our garlic tops. So we have lots of garlic in here, but the weeds are kind of growing around them. But uh, we're going to, to get at these and uh, fix them. Oh yeah, that garlic bulb is, that's a pretty big garlic bulb. That garlic bulb is probably about that big already. Ooh, that is soft in there, look at that. Um, well, let's go up here and take a look what else I did. You'll see. Um, I have to put my tools away anyways because I just got finished working and uh, I left some of the tools out after taking the tiller off. Oh wait, no, you know what? I think I put everything away. Isn't that weird? Huh. So anyways, when I mowed the grass this year, I left these here, you see this? See that? That's chives, that's all going to seed. So I mowed around them. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because when I'm mowing around here and I hit that stuff, always makes me hungry. It smells like chives. It smells like, yeah, well it is chives. <laughs> it smells like onions and it makes me hungry. So when I said, yeah, that's the little garden over there we were just at. This is the little garden we worked at and just beyond that is spot where it cleared last night. I hope that's not too dark. I don't know why that camera does that. I don't even know if that made a difference. Maybe it didn't make a difference. We're gonna see. So anyways, I come up here, now that's probably gonna be too bright, right? It's always one or the other. I don't have it set on, no. I left the door open on the little shed, so I'll close that before I go back. And once all my work's done here, I get the work done for people, I'm gonna clean this all up and uh, put the steel out back where it belongs, but I had to bring it up here and people drop more off in case I need it. So that's why that's looking rough there, but it'll get cleaned up, don't worry. Anyways, I went at all the sides here, cleaned up, I started cleaning up in here. I have to clean up in there. There's some stuff in there because this was the back 40 when I lived in the old house up here. So this was all trees and brush and that's where I stored my, stored my scrap steel that I was using, but now, it's the front 40 because we built the house way out back. So I'm slowly getting that cleaned up. Anyways, that's how the driveway is looking now. Look at that, eh? Uptown now, folks, we're uptown now. Um, started cleaning off the side here. See, this is where we buried the water line all in along here. That's the water line that was dug down in there. And I wanted to let it sit and uh, dry up a little bit before I started smoothing it off. <clears throat> now I'll show you what I want to do. Yeah, that's the gravel out here. Two loads, we put two loads on here, which isn't much, but the fella gave us a really good deal and it spread a long ways. That can go over there. Those are all tame roses I planted years ago too. I was in my 20s when all these tame roses were planted. Here's some of the old bicycles I collect. Not this one, of course, this is a newer one. But all these old bicycles here, I've collected over the years. That one I used to ride when I was younger. That's an old CCM uh, Canadian Tire bicycle. This is an Encore, which is also a CCM. Don't ask me why, but I like collecting old bicycles. I know they're probably not worth nothing, but I have a really nice old blue Triumph bicycle up upstairs in the old house. You know, it's up there, it's in good shape too, that old uh, Triumph, an old blue bicycle. I think they came from England way back when they were made. But that's neither here nor there. So we wanna take these flowers here that we've had. We wanna take all these flowers in here, we wanna dig them up. We wanna plant them all along the left side of the driveway all the way back because that is how that's looking now folks that look nice now once we get this old house gone and this stuff cleaned up 
I think it's gonna look pretty nice. Um, that's a cranberry bush there I planted when I was probably, I was 23 years old I think when I planted this cranberry bush. You can see that. It's getting blossoms on it already. Look at that. And it's a high bush cranberry, by the way. So anyways, that is what we did today. I spent probably four hours dragging this and trying to make this look nice with the gravel down here. I think it's turning out quite all right. There's the cat. You come to see me, kitty? Yeah? What's her name? Heather had that when she was really young. <laughs> yeah, meow. Heather and I planted this tree too when we first moved out here. This was a short little tree. This is a white spruce. It was really short when we first moved out here. We dug it up out of the bush, out of one of our wood lots, and we brought it out, we planted here. It was probably only about a foot high, and look at it now. What you want? I'm wearing my, uh, wearing my pajama pants, folks. I just, uh, oh yeah, you want, <laughs> matter, eh? <laughs> you coming? You coming? Come on. Nothing up here for you, let's go. Come on. That's right. Ah, she seems to like hanging out up here. Anyways, that's what I did today, folks. I helped uh, Heather with the garden. I tilled for a long time today, cleaning up around the garden. I had her planted, she watered everything. Um, and I went at this and tried to clean this up the best I could. And the gravel here is really soft. I bet it's probably three, four inches deep in spots, but I have to get a lot more put in here that that was there was ruts if you look last night on last night's videos you'll see where I was coming in here with the ATV pulling that the set of arrows I put together and you'll see that it was really rough here but it's starting to clean up a lot better now and uh, the bugs haven't left I'll tell you that much they're still pretty friendly but uh, it won't be long and these black flies will be gone so Anyways folks, just a short little video I thought I would do to show you what we did today. We didn't set up the camera today because it was kind of a hectic day. We wanted to get as much done as we could because it is supposed to rain and thunderstorm all day tomorrow. So that is brutal. I don't know if I ever showed the layout of the house or the, this property before. So that is the road, the main road that runs down there. Okay, we're facing about west right now, pretty much. Pretty much directly west, maybe a little, little northwest, I guess. So the road's out there, from that, from the side road to our house, we're 560 feet away from the road. So I put in 560 some feet of water line, inch and a, inch and a quarter water, here goes the cat run. 560 feet of inch and a quarter water line from the well, that is, up there just this side of those flowers up there those white flowers you can see way up there so it all runs downhill into the basement of the house now so if so I grew up in a house up in there my two brothers live up there uh, my mom and dad's been gone for years now so they stayed at home and they they ended up looking after the house and, and they're bachelors and they live there so that is my son's camper trailer out there that's the house I used to live in way, way back when, when I was in my 20s before I met Heather. We built something new when we moved out here, which is the one we're in now. That's a little shed I had built because I used to repair snowmobiles and, and I used to paint cars out front and stuff like that for people because I worked in a body shop years ago and I did all kinds of stuff like that when I was younger. So, and I did a lot of small engine repair. So I used to work out front. That's why that concrete slab is out there. That's my son's camper trailer, which he was just down to see me the other day. He's got, uh, he's got uh, uh, three children. Uh, but uh, anyways, he, he had to come down to get something for work. So he, he just got it out of his camper trailer there and that was about it. Um, anyways, this, my one brother, he built a little place down over there now. So that's where he's staying. He doesn't have hydro hooked up yet. There is hydro wires. Everybody says, hey, you're off grid. I see hydro wires. Yeah, there's hydro wires running along here. We could hook up, but we don't because it costs a lot of money. I was, I thought of hooking up, but 
it's going to cost so much to have the hydro ran we call it hydro here because our electricity is made by power dams hydroelectric dams hydro h2o you know it's it's created by water so we could hook up to the electrical grid from there and run it all the way back but from that pole over there we are about almost 600 feet real close to 600 feet there and that's expensive to get hooked up so we're not interested so anyways yeah that's the scoop with that now we have a phone line but we had to dig it and put it in ourselves uh the telephone company dropped off the roll of wire we dug the trench with the tractor dropped the wire in and we buried it and they come out and they hooked it to the court to the edge of our house the end of our house and they hooked it up to the box that runs way up the side road to my brother's place so that's how that works anyway so this is one little garden we have here that's one garden uh way down over there is the other garden that we were just in where i showed you where the peas are down over there that's those uh black raspberry canes right there that's how there's new little pumpkin patch there and cucumber patch out over there you can see the hoop houses out over there that's the garden out in front of the house and then on the far side of the house just out in front of that shed there uh pretty much uh southeast that is where our potatoes and stuff are planted and then this is the driveway that runs in there and to the left around there is the pole barn and where we're going to build the garage if you keep heading in here and go down over it that's the road we made years ago that goes down over the ravine across the bridge and out to our wood lot so that's how that's situated all these panels are going to get moved they're going to put get put out around the corner on a rack where you can't see them all these solar panels are going to be gone these fences are being removed this camper trailer is going out back eventually i'll just take it apart and use the frame for a trailer all this stuff is going to get removed from here that's going to go bye bye uh, they'll get stored out back where we keep our steel and stuff way out across the bridge out over there across the little creek uh, these zero turn mowers we're taking parts off them for they don't belong to me they belong to a friend that's that has them here uh, and eventually they'll get moved somewhere else as well so that's the scoop so very shortly this is going to be all cleaned up here this will all be cleaned up nice the grass will all be mowed that little house will be tore down the shed will be tore down all this stuff in here will be picked through because I used to have a little spot in there I used to store my scrap steel when I needed something or if, if I had a screen door I had a little shed in there at one time and I tore the shed down so that's why that stuff's there eventually we'll get her all cleaned up and it's going to look like a, it's going to look like a, a fifty dollars I can't say a million dollars because I don't think it'll look like a million dollars but we're going to be happy with it <clears throat> anyways I'm rambling folks I really hope you enjoyed this video that's the work we did today lots of it folks so anyways sure hope you enjoyed this little update folks if you did please hit that thumbs up it really makes a difference for us now i put a down payment quite a while ago on that starlink satellite so very shortly i hope i'll be able to upload videos more constant more um there's a word I can't think I'm lost for words but anyways it's gonna be it's I can't even think of the word tonight <laughs> anyways I'll be more consistent that's the word not constant I'll be more consistent with my video uploads right now if I upload a video it takes me a day and a half to upload a video so the video you see now you probably won't see till maybe tomorrow or the next day because it takes that long to upload so i did put a down payment quite a while ago on that starlink from uh the the elon musk i guess uh, he's putting them up they say anywhere between june to january they'll be ready and then we have to put the rest of the money on it and then they'll ship it to us and then we'll have fast internet so hopefully our live streams will be better too this winter and we usually start our live streams around december 1st so if people's wondering so anyways sorry i've been long-winded i didn't want to leave you hanging for uh today's video so you all take care and hopefully we'll talk to you tomorrow again bye bye all